Thank you for using the ADL 311SA spray dryer. This video will cover basic installation and setup procedures, as well as technical and safety guidelines. To begin, prepare three bolts to mount the air distributor to the main unit. Start by placing two washers on each bolt. The split lock washer first, then the flat washer. Install the first two bolts in the holes closest to the main body of the machine. Prepare the air distributor by carefully removing the packing tape covering the gasket. Make sure the gasket remains firmly seated. Using the two parallel notches as a guide, carefully slide the air distributor into position. Install the last bolt into the remaining notch while holding the air distributor firmly in place. Tighten all three bolts using the included wrench. Locate the nozzle guide pipe and carefully insert it into the air distributor. Use extreme caution when screwing in the pipe as the honeycomb is very delicate. Through the panel on the side, you can access the knob to adjust the height of the stage. Make sure it is lowered completely to prevent any damage to the drying chamber during installation. Carefully align the drying chamber with the pegs on the stage. Make sure to support the glass chamber while raising the stage. Continue raising until you feel firm resistance, indicating that the chamber is fully in place and properly sealed. The cyclone is a very delicate piece of glassware and should be handled with extreme care. Install the appropriate gasket, then align and connect the cyclone to the opening on the drying chamber. After connecting the two parts, fasten them together with power clamp 40A. Place the remaining white gasket on the top opening of the cyclone. Find the ribbed blower hose and fasten it to the top of the cyclone with power clamp 50A. Place a hose clamp on the other end of the hose and attach it to the aspirator port located behind the drying chamber. Secure the hose by tightening the clamp. Plug one end of the temperature sensor into the cable port and screw the sensor rod on the other end into the sensor port located between the cyclone and the drying chamber. Install the safety cover starting with the side panel and apply the appropriate screws. You will need to remove and replace the screws from the rear of the machine before installing the rear panel. Apply the longer replacement screws to secure the rear panel. Join these two panels together by installing screws into the corner bracket. Lastly, attach the safety cover door to the front of the machine by sliding it onto its hinges. Insert the nozzle assembly into the nozzle port on the top of the unit. 
The assembly will depress a microsensor in the nozzle detection sensor box when installed correctly. Make sure that the tip marked liquid faces forward and connect the air spray tube on the air port on the rear of the nozzle assembly. Attach the pressurized air hose to the air intake port labeled Pressure Air In GAS 410 N2 Gas In. This hose connects to your air compression system. Finally, attach the exhaust hose to the exhaust port located on the back of the unit. Congratulations, your ADL 311 SA is now fully assembled.